outfit repeating I bought it so why am I not wearing it twice again oh my god like I know too many people on Instagram like these people I went to school I don't want them to see no it's my social media YOLO there is no YOLO hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm really excited because of course we're in the new year and I'm filming this for you today because look at what I've done I've literally gone ahead and written everything that is in for me for 2023 and yeah see it's gonna take a while to kind of get used to not saying 2023 and it says saying 2024 anyways I've written down everything that is in for 2024 and everything that is out for 2024 um and I, w I just wanted to share with you because again this is gonna also help me be accountable to myself and for y'all to keep me accountable too and if there are any things that you know we have in common through this video please let me know comment it in the comment section below as well and we will see how many people you know have the same thing how many people are doing the same things that i will be doing and how many people are trying to avoid the same things that are out for me as well um if you have not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe and like this video and yeah stay tuned for more exciting videos thank you very much <laughs> So this is actually in no particular order, just FYI, all right. Yeah, cool. One of the first things I've written here is I need to open my Bible every day, um, start the day, you know, giving glory to God and like just reading my Bible, it just keeps you awake, refreshed and connected to God. And also waking up as soon as my alarm goes off. I always do, but I feel like recently I find myself sneezing, so I want to kind of get that out of the, yeah, no. Speaking of waking up when my alarm goes off, I also want to wake up early and sleep early. So for example, if I wake up on early on the 4th of january i want to sleep early on the 4th of january i don't want to be going to sleep the early hours of the 5th of january does that make sense so that way i'm actually waking up and sleeping during on the same day and actually waking up into the next day feeling refreshed and energized i always be sleeping past midnight um you know always sleeping 2 a.m 1 a.m it's just not healthy and i have work and i'm trying to do so much and it's just not gonna work unless I'm really strict so if I wake up and I sleep when I say I'm going to sleep and I sleep early 10 10 30 11 max go to bed yeah I free myself from anxiety and posting whenever I want have so much fear when I need to post on <laughs> on Instagram especially mixing gold and silver jewelry is in for me as well wearing my natural hair more towards the end of 2023 I wore my natural hair out a lot and normally i try not to wear my natural hair during winter because i'm like it's gonna get dry but i've been loving it and there's so much to do obviously you know for hair we cannot tend to speak negative about our hair but there's so many things we can do just a matter of experimenting and exploring and just letting your hair be so that is in for me being on time i want to be on time to places y'all i want to be on time to places <laughs> traveling is in for me as well just exploring even if it's england just exploring more what england has to offer um the uk at large as well going to scotland all these places that i've never been to um going out more i'm a person that likes to stay indoors <laughs> i can stay at home all week like so my parents are always like tracy just go out so i want to like try to go out with my brother go out or everybody that knows me step out more so i want to try and go out more i just like being at home it's just my comfort zone and yeah nobody's talking to me i'm not talking to anybody and i'm in my room and i'm just Sometimes doing nothing, but I need to step out more, especially if I want to meet people, you know. We're trying to be, we're trying to meet people out here. Romanticizing my life, even if it's just tiny, tiny things, I need to start romanticizing my life. Boundaries, implementing boundaries. If something hurt me, talk about it. If something, you know, if somebody do something that have crossed the boundary, let them know. Because some people just don't know. Yeah, so I want to, I want to be that person more being delusional and i say this not you know that i'm i want to be like delusional delusional i do but mostly like speaking life into my into my life again because and i say delusional in the sense that like god says there is literally power in the tongue so speaking more positivity into my life chase you can do this chase you're gonna reach this goal you know by the end of 2024 you're going to have 10k subscribers on here all of that it's we you nowadays the young people term you know gen z or whatnot the term is to say delusional but honestly it's just speaking positivity in life into and believing that as god has said there is power in your tongue there is there is indeed power in your tongue so that more more of that for me um 
putting events on my calendar I tend to forget you know I, I really do like when I need to go places unless you message me on the day and be like girl when are we meeting or what are we wearing I'm like what event are we going to exactly and I'd be forgetting so utilizing my calendar more and also writing things down as I've done for this video exactly see okay saying yes to experiences absolutely outfit repeating I bought it so why am I not wearing it twice again yeah no thrifting more I really 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 want to stop fast fashion I've written down here as well um, I'm still gonna buy and indulge here and there but thrifting is literally where it's at so yeah more self-awareness so for example also speaking with my friends and being like how's our friendship going is there anything you want me to deliver develop in is there anything i do that you've noticed any sort of bad habits i want to like get rid of them so having more check-ins with my friends is basically what i mean when i say more self-awareness um going into museums i want to go on like more solo dates with myself so going to museums all of that amazing starbucks i actually don't really drink starbucks and i want to like just try it more i guess responding to whatsapp messages if you know you know i'm quite bad at it if you need me facetime me because that's also in i'm such a facetime kind of girl i'm such a, a phone call kind of girl test messages however ho, oh, it takes a while it, it, it really like it requires energy y'all <laughs> and sometimes i've got the energy to pick up the phone and just talk it out and be good but to test back and forth i love it it makes sense to me sometimes it does make sense like a combination of the two but when it's just that all the time oh, yeah sorry facetime me or just give me a phone call i will respond um more teas i love tea when i'm constipated or bloated just drink some tea wearing baggy clothes i really love baggy clothes it just makes me feel comfortable and speaking of baggy clothes literally low-waisted pants chef kiss chef kiss chef kiss oh i love it so that we're gonna keep that up you know i'm um, complimenting strangers more exact one time i was literally on the train somebody complimented me when i was going to work if i told you i was just smiling the entire time i had to walk from the station to where i was going it just made my day so i want to do more of that to other people i tend to sometimes but not as often as i want to in 2024 so no makeup outings i i'm not someone that wear makes up makeup all the time but recently i do find myself always been like if i'm going i need to put on some makeup so less makeup especially when i'm going out sometimes yeah absolutely but it's like not all the time do you get what i mean um smelling good feeling good and also facials i've been saying i need to get facials 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 so actually get a facial chunky earrings and chunky jewelry in general like i want to be bold and yeah chunky anything but jewelry accessories just going mixing gold and silver like do it girl who's gonna say nothing nobody um clear my room more again when you my room is clear really reflects my state of mind and when it's clustered and busy and everything's everywhere it also reflects my state of mind and when it when i'm at that stage it just means i need to tidy up so tidying my room up more and um, when you're creating content sometimes it can really mess up your room and you've got to put things there shift things there and so yeah as soon as i finish just tidy up reading i said to i was going to read like 12 books max i read only three or two and a half so that's on that i need to do better now let's get into the things that are out for me in 2024 being too busy again literally sometimes i just want to stay at home so too busy is not gonna cut it anymore go out have fun and yeah um always being at home yeah as i said again it's linked i don't want to stay at home all the time now i want to go out meet people put myself out there a little bit more um, because I'm not gonna meet people if I'm just indoors am I so over consumption this could be social media TV I don't really watch TV but yeah social media browsing through give it a break or even like fast fashion like the list goes on in terms of anything that you over consume literally that and um, compare myself to others especially on social media it's really easy to do that when you're looking at yourself all the time like oh mm, mm yeah no stop comparing it's really easier said than done but literally just don't compare your beautiful and wonderfully made in the eyes of god and literally god knows the number of hair on your head you are you are beautiful and you are you there's literally nobody else with your fingerprint so that should tell you something stop comparing yourself also for me doubt and imposter syndrome um i just need to start believing that i can do it i'm capable and all of these things that i know i am but sometimes literally doubt just keeps me stagnant yeah it's got to go it's really got to go so yeah that's another one 
I'm um, also anxiety on posting on Instagram. Guys, the amount of times I've had videos and I'm just holding them because I'm like, I can't. Oh my God, like I know too many people on Instagram. Like these people I went to school, I don't want them to see. No, it's my social media. I'm going to post it. Especially when it comes to creating content, I'm trying to take things seriously. Um, I just need to post and kind of get over that fear. So now I'm into my reels and like just posting. I've kind of started, especially in December, to kind of ease myself into it. So it's not too not too much on me in the new year to kind of try and get it all done um and i think so far it's working for me so i need to just keep it up and post on there a lot more impulsive buying and spending if i don't need it, i really don't gotta buy it like girl it's okay you've got enough clothes just find something that will work <laughs> like seriously um scrolling when i'm bored i can actually do some reading i'll be bored and by the time i realize i've spent like two hours on you know tiktok girl yeah exactly um, late sleeping again as i said i want to try and sleep the same day i woke up in jesus name amen uh holding things because i will need it later i will not need it later in fact i will even forget about it so it, let it go give it away to somebody that will need it give it to charity i said what i said overthinking as well and also not taking things too personal. People are literally going through their stuff. Sometimes if something bothers you, just speak with the person, talk to the person and talk it out. Like that's the type of person I am. I just like to talk things out. So I want to keep that up and um, not overthink about when something happens to me or when something, when somebody does something that hurt me or offends me, take it to the person and think, oh, they're out to get me. No, they're really not. So that is out. Overthinking. YOLO. There is no YOLO. I don't only live once. I believe in God, I'm a Christian, and there is a life beyond here. So, yeah, that thing got to go too. <laughs> exactly. For the longest time, we all say YOLO, YOLO, YOLO. Okay, that, well, we should start saying solo then. That's, that means second, you only live once. No, you only live twice. Your lot? Your lot? You only live twice. Well, yeah, there is a life beyond this. I'm a Christian, um, there's life after death, all of that podcast on tiktok literally when i see i just need to scroll past because this tiktok po podcast people mm -mm, too many toxicity just out everywhere no so yeah literally just scroll past twitter is out for me i've actually delayed the app it's getting too much um who knows in the future i may download it by the minute it serves it doesn't serve me whatsoever so it's gone i think me and somebody that was close once upon a time have drifted reaching out more but again if it's one-sided i'll just let it go and let it be but if it becomes you know both sided where we're both trying to make a relationship or have a relationship then yeah of course um and lastly overthinking guys there's so many things i could have said and added but i hope this all made sense so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and from this list you kind of got a few things that you yourself will be trying to you know do or not do in the year 2024 in order to be the best version of yourself so yeah i hope you really enjoyed this video and i will catch y'all in the next one thank you so much for watching bye